You know that oval-shaped USB-C port that's on your new electronic device? It's an industry standard connector for transmitting both data and power on a single cable. It's way more capable than the rectangular USB ports you might remember from decades ago. Let's take a look at everything USB-C can do. USB-C has no up or down orientation. Line up the connector properly and you never have to flip it over to plug it in. The right way is always up. The standard cables also have the same connector on both ends, which means that you don't have to figure out which end goes where. That has not been the case for all of those USB cables that we've been using for the past 20 years. Where USB-C ports get kind of tricky is that not all of them support the same speeds. The most common speed is 10 gigabytes per second, which is twice as fast as the rectangular USB 3.0 ports. A few of the newest USB-C ports go up to 20 gigabytes per second. Finally, many USB-C ports on PCs and Macs also support Thunderbolt speeds. This means you'll get up to 40 gigabytes per second, which is twice as fast as the fastest non-Thunderbolt USB-C port. But you'll need compatible Thunderbolt peripherals, like external SSDs, in order to take advantage of those maximum speeds. In addition to data transfers, USB-C ports can also deliver power. On a phone or a tablet, the USB-C port is typically used to charge the device's internal battery. On a laptop or a desktop computer, USB-C ports can also be used in reverse, that is, to charge the internal batteries of smaller devices. As the current industry standard, USB-C ports will show up on nearly every PC or phone that you might want to buy. And this handy port will almost certainly get speedier and more capable as time goes on. For more details about everything that USB-C can do, visit PCMag.com.